Welcome back once again to CBSE Board Economics. I'm Saddam Hussein here. I welcome you all. Today we discuss the factors affecting demand for a commodity. It means what it means when is the demand for a commodity is high? When is the demand for a commodity low? Or we can put it this way, what factors affect demand for a commodity? And what factors affect demand for a commodity? So you can see on the board, the factors affecting demand for a commodity, or we can call them as determinants of demand for a commodity. The factors affecting demand for a commodity or determinants of demand for a commodity. Broadly, there are four factors. One is price of the commodity, own price of the commodity, price of the commodity itself. Number two, prices of related goods. Here we'll be discussing about substitute goods and complementary goods. Changes in income of the consumer is the third point. Under this, we'll be discussing how the demand for a commodity changes with the changes in income of the consumer in respect of three commodities in economics, luxury goods, inferior goods, and necessities. And the last one, taste, preferences, and habits of the consumers also affect the demand for a commodity. Let's talk about one by one. What factors affect demand for a commodity? What it means? When is the demand for a commodity more? When is the demand for a commodity low? The first and the foremost factor affecting the demand for a commodity is own price of the commodity. It depends upon the price of the commodity. What it means here, you'll be writing a couple of lines. If the price of the commodity is very high, it's too high, the demand for the commodity will be low. So we know the price of Apple phone, iPhones are very expensive, something like 80 to 1 lakh rupees. So obviously, you can see in the market, the demand for Apple or iPhones is very less compared to Chinese mobile phones. So there is inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. That's a very important point first. So what do we write? There is inverse relationship or opposite relationship between price of the commodity and the demand for the commodity. If the price is high, obviously demand will be low. If the price is low, demand will be high. So there's a first point. The first and the foremost important factor affecting the demand for a commodity is the price itself. If the price is high, demand will be low. If the price is low, demand will be high. As you can see on the board, the second factor affecting the demand for a commodity is prices of related goods. Demand for a commodity depends upon the price of related goods. There are two kinds of related goods. You follow carefully here. Two kinds of related goods. One is a substitute good. One is a complementary goods. Let's talk about substitute goods first. What are the substitute goods? Tea and coffee. You can call them as substitute goods. Pepsi and Coke. You can call them as substitute goods. Gel pen and ink pen are substitute goods. What exactly? These are the examples. What do you mean by substitute goods? Substitute goods are those which can be substituted in place of each other with equal ease without reduction in your satisfaction. Substitute goods are those which can be used in place of each other with equal ease without reduction in satisfaction. What it means? If you like having coffee and it's not available, tea is available, so you're going for tea. It's not going to reduce your utility or satisfaction. So that is substitute good. If Pepsi is not there as well, you can have Coke, it satisfies your want. If ink pen is not available in the market, you do it with gel pen. So substitute goods are those which can be used in place of each other with equal ease without reduction in your satisfaction. 
what relationship do they have in case of substitute goods if the price of one substitute good goes up obviously the demand for the other good will also go up so why does it happen if the price of this is going up and the demand for it is going up because people will be migrating from here to here let's take the price of tea and coffee are 20 rupees per cup if the price of coffee has suddenly gone up to 100 rupees per cup people who are having coffee they move to tea so obviously if the price of gel pen goes up people will go for ballpoint pen or they go in for ink pen that substitute good if the price of one brand of mobile phone goes up obviously you take the other substitute for it so obviously if the substitute t-shirts and uh, maybe uh, shirts or substitutes if the price of shirts is going up people will go in for t-shirts that substitute goods so that means in case of substitute goods there is a direct relationship that is the price of one goes up the demand will the other will go up if the price of one comes down the demand for the other comes down so as well we'll put it this way the price of tea comes down so the demand for coffee also will come down people will migrate to tea that substitute goods now the next one complementary goods what are complementary complementary goods complementary goods are those which are used together to satisfy a given one if one is not there the other is useless for example car and petrol are complementary goods without petrol you can't use your car what relationship do they have if the price of petrol really goes up maybe 200 300 500 per liter of petrol the demand for cars will come down that means in complementary goods there is a direct relationship car and petrol are good examples of complementary goods so if the price of one goes up the demand for the other will come down so now you got it now put it in simple words demand for a commodity first depends upon the price of the commodity itself number two is prices of related goods there are two kinds of related goods one is substitute goods which are the substitute goods tea and coffee are substitute goods ink pen and gel pen are substitute goods what are substitute goods substitute goods are those which can be used in place of each other with equal ease without reduction in your satisfaction they have a direct relationship if the price of one goes up the demand for the other will also go up and what are complementary goods complementary goods are those which are used together to satisfy a given want if one is not there the other is useless in case of complementary goods car and petrol if the price of petrol goes up the demand for cars will come down that means they have inverse relationship that's the second most important there's one more probably you must have seen in the books or your teachers must have given you uh, substitute complementary goods you understood unrelated goods unrelated goods nothing will happen to the demand if the price of milk goes up what effect it has on the demand for cards it has no relationship unrelated goods if the price of shoes go up it has no impact on the demand for cards okay the third one is income of the consumer so changes in income of the consumers also affect the demand for a commodity changes in income suppose if income is going up the demand of certain commodities is affected income is coming down the demand for the commodity is affected what it means we'll see it here number one demand for the commodity with the changes in income has no same effect or same impact on all the commodities it differs from commodity to commodity we can classify in economics all the goods into three categories one is luxury goods uh, one is inferior goods and necessities third one this is minded no commodity is uh, luxury no commodity is inferior good and it all depends upon your income what is luxury good for one may be inferior for the other okay let's see what happens suppose if the income of the consumer increases so we know that demand for luxury goods which are the luxury goods luxury goods like iphones expensive mobile phones apple computers or big color tvs led tvs okay our luxury cars will go up with the rise in income if the income of the consumer is going up he'll go for luxury goods so the demand for luxury goods will go up they have a direct relationship with income 
if the income of the consumer is going up the demand for inferior goods inferior goods are bajra jawar or coarse cloth coarse grains their demand will come down if your income is going up you prefer to have uh, basmati rice better rice than eating bajra the demand for inferior goods will come down so mind it this luxury inferior goods we are taking in consideration with your income there's nothing like luxury goods or inferior goods and the demand for necessities like bread rice wheat will remain the same with the changes in income whether income goes up or goes down we'll take it from the other side if the income comes down obviously demand for luxury goods will come down the demand for luxury cars will come down and the demand for inferior goods will go up again once again and the taste and preferences are uh, lost one necessities will remain the same so we discussed three factors affecting demand for a commodity one is price of the commodity number two is prices of rated goods substitute goods and complementary goods number three is uh, income of the consumer and the last point taste preferences and habits of the consumer also affect demand for a commodity what do you mean by taste preferences and habits taste preferences we always develop a particular taste towards a commodity taste preferences we prefer this particular commodity to any other commodity so that is taste preferences and habits your habitual of a commodity so if you develop a strong taste or preference towards a commodity the demand for that commodity will remain the same whether the price of the commodity goes up or goes down for example uh, if there is a chain smoker he is addicted to smoking a particular brand of cigarette whether the price of that cigarette goes up or goes down his demand will remain the same because his addiction because of his addiction taste preferences and habits so if people have a particular taste towards a commodity the demand for that commodity will remain the same irrespective of the changes in price of the commodity or if a consumer develops a favorable taste towards a commodity obviously demand for that commodity will go up what happened in the indian economy right you know so indians have developed a particular right the favorable taste towards the western clothes western dresses so obviously demand for these things is going up and if you develop unfavorable taste towards a commodity the demand for that commodity will come down so that is depends upon taste preferences and habits of the consumer so these are the four four important look at the board once again so what are the determinants of demand for a commodity or what factors affect demand for a commodity the first one is price of the commodity there is inverse relationship between the price of the commodity and its quantity demanded if the price of the commodity is high the quantity demanded will be low and vice versa and vice versa number 2 prices of related goods the demand is affected by the changes in the prices of related goods related goods are of two types substitute goods and complementary goods number 1 substitute goods substitute goods are those which can satisfy a given want with equal ease without reduction in our satisfaction this can be used in place of each other for example tea and coffee ball pen and fountain pen substitute goods have same or direct relationship that is if the price of one goes up the demand for its substitute good will also go up if the price of tea goes up then the demand for coffee will also go up because consumers will shift from tea to coffee two complementary goods complementary goods are those which are used together to satisfy a given want So for example car and petrol pen and ink complementary goods have opposite relationship that is if the price of one commodity goes up the demand for its complementary good will fall if the price of petrol goes up the demand for its complementary car goes down number 3 income of the consumers demand for the commodity also depends upon the changes in income of the consumers if the income of the consumer goes up the demand for normal goods like air conditioners TVs cars etc goes up and that of inferior goods like bajra jowar coarse grains coarse cloth etc goes down however the demand for necessities like rice wheat bread etc remain the same if the income of the consumer goes down then the demand for normal goods goes down and demand for inferior goods goes up taste and preferences of the consumers the demand for a commodity also depends upon the taste and preferences
preferences to the consumers. If a consumer becomes habitual of a commodity, then the demand for that commodity does not change with the changes in price of the consumer. Uh, with the commodity does not change with the changes in the price. If a consumer develops a favorable taste towards a commodity, its demand will go up. If he develops unfavorable taste towards a commodity, its demand will fall or it will decrease. I'm sure you must have followed the four factors affecting demand, price of the commodity, price of related goods, income of the consumer and taste and preferences. That's all we have time for this short video. Till we meet next time, it's goodbye from Saddam Hussein. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like and comment on all videos. And also press the bell icon to get future videos and notifications. These are quite informative and educative. It will really help you for the current exam or the present exam which you're giving. And these videos will help you when you go for higher studies. Thank you guys. Till we meet next time is goodbye.